our next step to make our rainbow necklace is to put our yarn onto our needle. And this step is important because it'll be so much easier to put the beads onto the yarn if we have something um, that's strong enough to go straight through those beads. If we tried to put the yarn directly into the beads, it just would be kind of frustrating. It would take a really long time. I have a special trick for threading needles and the way that it works is you're going to take this little piece of paper that's folded in half, I like to call it a hot dog bun, and you're going to put your yarn inside the hot dog bun. I'm just going to put it right inside and then if you have a little bit of yarn that's on the end that's like kind of hanging out, what you can do is just very gently pinch the top of the hot dog bun and then very gently pull that yarn until it's all the way inside the hot dog bun. Once you have your yarn inside the hot dog bun, you're going to hold on to it and you don't want to hold on to it far back because then that makes it kind of difficult to control. You're going to want to pinch that hot dog bun really close to the front and then look for the hole in your needle. This is called the eye of the needle. You can go like that so you can see it better. So there's the, there's the eye of the needle and that's where we want to put our yarn through. So I'm going to take this little card and I'm going to put it inside that hole like that. And then I'm just going to very gently pull it through and then I can take the hot dog bun off. So now my, my yarn is inside of my needle and I am ready to tie a knot. And you want to tie a knot to hold your needle to the yarn so that when you're making your necklace, you're, you don't have to worry about your needle falling off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it a little bit like that. So I've got two sides. I've got my long side right here and then I have my short side right here. And what I want to do next is I want to make an X. So I'm going to cross the short side of my yarn over the long side and I made a little circle right there above the needle and then I'm going to pinch it and pick it up. So I'm pinching it right at the middle of the X, picking it up and I'm going to take this little tiny tail and I'm going to fold it. Let me do this so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to fold the tail inside the circle. So I'm folding it behind the circle. And now that little tail is inside the circle and all I have to do is just pull it through and that's going to make a knot. Um, I'm going to show it to you one more time so you can see how I did it so that you see them all. So I'm going to take my hot dog bun, I put my yarn inside of my hot dog bun like that, close it, pinch the top, pull the yarn very gently hold it at the very front of the hot dog bun, look for that eye of the needle, that hole at the top of the needle, push the hot dog bun through that hole, pull, 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 take the hot dog bun off, and then to tie the knot, I've got my short side and my long side, I'm going to make an X and put the short side on top of the long side, I'm going to pinch the middle of the X and pick it up and then I'm going to fold that tail underneath and then pull the tail through and that makes a knot.